This is a little bit of an advanced design, so if you do have trouble with something like this, then you might be better off with some of my more beginner-friendly looks. For this pretty peacock feather, I start with a black nail, and I'm just going to load my striping brush, and I'm going to use that to make this almost like hourglass line on both sides of the nail. Then I'm just going to take my long detailer, which is a little bit thicker than the striping brush, and a little bit shorter, and I'm going to use this to just fill in that entire space with white paint. And once that's dried or cured, now I'm going to go in with my short detailing brush. And I'm going to use a dark purple to paint kind of like a rounded heart, and then I'm going to fill the center of that with blue. I kind of mix the colors together so they blend a little bit. And now I'm going to use a light blue, and I'm just going to make the heart shape, I'm going to turn it into a circle basically. I'm going to blend that color with a lighter green. This just gives it a little bit more dimension, totally not necessary. The next layer is orange, so I'm just kind of extending the shape to be more of an oval. And I blended a little bit of yellow near the base of the orange. And then I outlined that whole oval in yellow and just the bottom half of it in purple. So these are the main colors of the inside of the peacock feather. And then I'm just going to border the whole design in a lime green. I took a little bit of my green and I mixed it with some metallic or shimmery gold. And I blended that with the outline and then filled in the rest of the white space with that metallic-y lime green color. Once that's cured or dried, I'm going to go back to my striping brush and I'm going to load it properly with black paint. And I'm going to do a nice thin line straight down the center, only up to the center of the blue heart. And then to turn this into a feather, I'm going to, really without a care, it doesn't matter if the lines are thicker or thinner, they should not all be even sizes, but just kind of make wispy lines going from the stem out to the black background. The closer I get to the colorful part of the design, um, like the center of the design, the thinner that I try to make the lines so that you can see all of the colors. So really just using the tip of the brush. And towards the edge of the feather, I did make sure to have more triangular pointed black lines. So it looks like the feather is a little bit separated. It gives it more of an organic look. Once that's all dried or cured, pick your favorite top coat and cover the entire design, making sure that there's no bumps, and now you have a pretty peacock feather now.